The California gold rush of 1849 is legendary. Gold fever gripped the nation as hundreds of thousands of people followed the 19th century advice, go west, young man, to seek their fortunes in the gold fields of California. They became known to the world as 49ers, and their stories are as rich as the metal they crave. It was the most famous gold find in history. In 1848, a chance discovery near a sawmill along the American River launched a human stampede that would transform America forever. The California Gold Rush was on. of thousands of men, women, and children, with little or no experience, risked everything for a golden dream. Unimaginable hardships, bandits, and assorted pleasures in a timeless quest for gold. But as in all great adventure, there are many stories. A story of human experience. In 1880, the untamed wilderness of Alaska called to men and women around the world. It was the siren song of gold, frozen gold. Nearly 30 years after the California gold rush, a new golden thread, which eventually led over the Chilkoot Trail and down to the Klondike, guided thousands of fortune hunters to America's Northwest Territory. The great Alaskan gold rush was on. It was a story of glory and greed, a ruthless chapter in America's quest for gold. One famous Klondike story inspired Charlie Chaplin's film, The Gold Rush. Okay, is it ready? Just about. The temperature was 40 degrees below. Walled into a cabin, Stringer decided to boil his seal skin and his friend's walrus boots. After simmering this delicacy for seven hours, they drank the broth and chewed the boots. In Stringer's words, the boots were tough and stringy, but palatable. Australia, 1851, a British colony, a country poised on the brink of one of the greatest gold discoveries of the 19th century. Veteran prospectors exposed to the San Francisco gold stampede of 1849 came home armed with know-how and experience. They were convinced their Australian homeland also contained gold, and they were determined to find it. A single strike in New South Wales would eventually unlock the floodgates. Soon, thousands converged upon the new gold fields. But discontent, like the glimmering gold, simmered beneath the surface. According to Holdham's official report, 12 other soldiers had been wounded in the attack on the Eureka Stockade. Many of the defenders had also been wounded. 30 were killed. Ferguson commented, the most exciting time I had ever witnessed, a hand-to-hand -hand fight. The soldiers were in among us. Laylor was shot in the arm, and before we were through, had fainted from loss of blood. <laughs> 